Hey there. So for today, today's video, I'm going to be just doing some pattern work here at my home field of Goose Creek Airport, uh, 28 Alpha, south of Charlotte, North Carolina. This particular airport um, has a runway that is 2,300 feet long by 40 feet wide. Uh, we do have obstacles, uh, trees, in other words, uh, all around the airport, or at least uh, in the takeoff direction of both runways. Uh, I'm excited about today's pattern work. Um, I have not, the winds are favoring runway 22, and I have not been able to uh, come in on that way, uh, winds permitting, for quite a few months. I think the last time I came in on 22, I had to execute a go around because I was blinded by the sun and the threshold was covered in shadow. So I'm, uh, I'm looking forward to practicing on 2-2. On like I said, it's been a few months. So I'm going to be doing about three or four spins in the pattern today, and um, let's see how it goes. Uh, all right, let's prepare for takeoff configuration on my checklist. We have parking brake just set. Controls are free and clear. I should probably turn off screen rotate. Flaps, I'm going to set to one today. It's uh, a little bit of a headwind, and we have cold temperatures, and I'm by myself, so flaps at one is good. Trim, neutral. Trim is neutral. Carb heat is off. Set transponder to altitude. Flight instruments, uh, we set during the startup and warm up. They all look good. And we're just doing pattern work today, so I don't need to go too crazy with that. Fuel tank, I've already set to left tank. Fuel pump is on. Engine instruments are in the green, oil temperature still warming up. Seat belts are fastened and door latched. Okay, run up. Parking brake set. Throttle, 1800. Right bag, check. A little rough. So we're gonna go ahead and clear that out by taking a little bit of the mixture out and leaning it out a little bit. That's a little too much. Got stuck there on me. Clear out that right mag. Surprise, it's not good. It's, this aircraft was just flown about an hour before me. All right, let's see if that fixed it. About 100 RPM drop, uh, maybe a little over 100. Uh, right mag is clear. Back to both. Left mag's a little rough as well. Or is that the aircraft in front of me? I think that's the aircraft in front of me doing a run up. That left mag is good. <laughs> the aircraft in front of me is doing a run up. And uh, it is. Uh, prop wash was shaking the aircraft. I thought that was the mag. Car Pete. Good drop and no carp heat. Uh, suction is at five and RPM back to, let's do an idle check. Idle check is good, the aircraft does not turn off. Engine instruments are in the green, throttle back to a thousand. All right, we're ready to go. Goose Creek traffic check eight nine or seven Mike Bravo is departing two two, we'll be staying in a pattern, Goose Creek. Here we go. Get back on the center line here. Right up. That was a short takeoff roll. Climb out at 75 to go over the obstacles. Cleared the trees, flaps, zero. Uh, 
Goose Creek traffic, Cherokee 7, Mike Bravo, turning crosswind, 2-2, two -two, staying in pattern, Goose Creek. Do a little 90 degree left turn here to get on crosswind, take a look back at the runway. We are climbing really fast today, I'm going to hit pattern altitude before I turn down wind. And we're at pattern altitude, turning downwind. I'm going to look downwind. There are no aircraft. Goose Creek Airport, uh, Cherokee 7 Mike Brawler is turning downwind. 2-2, two -two, Goose Creek. Now, if the wind sock is any judge, we have a little bit of a tailwind here on downwind, so this should... This downwind leg should be a little quick. I'm a little high, so I'm going to reduce my throttle a little earlier than I normally would have. And why don't we take this down to about 16, 1700, one notch flaps, we already have six, seven hundred feet per minute descent. I'm going to take it out a little long since I'm a little high. Just a tad bit. I see an aircraft there back taxiing. Looks like they cleared. Speed is about 90. I like to set up my speed on base. Goose Creek Airport, Cherokee 7, Mike Bravo is turning base to 2-2. Two -two. Goose Creek. All right. A couple flaps, a couple trims there, a flaps of two, a couple spins on a trim. Let's start a gradual turn to final. Goose Creek Airport, Cherokee 7, Mike Bravo turning final 2-2, Goose Creek. A little windier than I thought today. I like to take my base to final very slow and, and uh, not do a steep turn on it, so I usually start a little earlier than most people. And we're a little high and a little fast, so I'm going to reduce the throttle. Pop my last notch of flaps. Let's trim this up a little bit so I don't have to fight the, the yoke here. We're coming in 75, looking good, 65 knots. Get back on the center line there with the rudder. A little bit of a headwind. Looks good. All right, the float was a little long, but that was a pretty smooth touchdown. I'm satisfied with that. I'm not trying to get it down on the numbers. That was for another video. Today I'm just trying to practice my landing is over on 2 2. Goose Creek Drive, uh, Piper 3662, uh, Zulu is going to take the after one way, uh, 2-2, Goose Creek. Go ahead and clear the runway for this guy. Goose Creek Airport, Cherokee 7, Mike Bravo has cleared 2-2, two -two. Goose Creek. Guys take it off and then I can go ahead and do my clear runway checklist. Transponder on standby. Fuel pump off. We still have fuel pressure. Flaps retract. While I'm waiting for this guy and I, I still have to uh, back taxi as well, I'm going to go ahead back to my takeoff configuration and save some time here. So I'm going to go ahead and set my flaps for takeoff even though I'm not taking off just yet. I'm going to go ahead and put my trim back to neutral. I mean, I'm going to go ahead and reset this checklist here. All right, so flaps, trim, mixture, RP. I'm going to do transponder. I'll stop right there. I'm, going to, I'm not going to put transponder to altitude yet. And uh, flight instruments and fuel pump and all that. I'm going to do that right before I take off.
So that landing was pretty good. Um, I think what I'd like to do on this one is maybe stabilize my, my glide path a little bit on final. Um, I, I had to both add power and, and track power as I came in there, especially on short final, keep myself right on target of where I wanted to touch down. So I'm thinking I'm going to try to keep my RPMs a little stable, maybe come in a little high and if needed slip in. Uh, we'll see how it'll work out on the second time around. This Cub looks like he's on downwind. Not a radio, so I'm going to try to squeeze in ahead of him here. All right, so we got transponder, altitude, flight instruments are all good. Fuel tank is on the right one. Fuel pump on. Engine instruments are now all in the green. Seatbelts door, good. We're ready to go. Flaps, trim, mixture, carp heat. Goose Creek traffic, Cherokee 7, Mike Bravo, departing 2-2, staying in a pattern. Goose Creek, I have visual on the Piper Cub that is now turning base. And this cold air is accelerating this aircraft real nice. All right, we've cleared our obstacles. Flaps from one to zero. I'm gonna try to maintain pitch and the aircraft should speed up from 75 miles an hour to 85. Feeling a lot of pressure on the yoke, so I'm gonna down trim just a little bit to keep that nose where I want it. All right, we're at the altitude where I have to turn crosswind. Goose Creek traffic, Cherokee 7, Mike Bravo is turning crosswind, 2-2, two -two, Goose Creek. We are rocketing up. I got myself here at a little over 1,100 feet per minute, and I'm not even trying. Downwind is clear. Goose Creek Airport, Cherokee 7, Mike Bravo is turning downwind, 2-2, two -two, Goose Creek middle of that turn I hit my pattern altitude so I took back a little throttle. Alright, let's go ahead and get it down there. Go about 1600. Trim up twice. Looking at the threshold, or not really the threshold, where I want to land, and when I'm a, when I'm about 45 degrees from where I want to land, then I'll go ahead and turn base, which is now. Goose Creek Airport, uh, Cherokee, or Goose Creek Traffic, Cherokee, 7 Mike Bravo is turning base, 2-2, two -two, Goose Creek. Speed is more steady this time. Glide path feels more steady this time. Flaps 2 little more trim, although I don't need that much, nose is good, and start my turn to final. Goose Creek traffic, Cherokee 7 Mike Bravo is turning final 2-2, two -two, Goose Creek. Take a little power off, a little high, flaps full, trim a little bit up right there, although our speed is good, I just don't want to fight it. A little bit right of the runway, so I'm going to use mostly rudder here to get myself lined back up, down to center line. Speed is good. Hold it off. Okay. All right. That was that was okay. Leave some pressure off the nose gear by pulling back, and then start tapping the brakes. Get some aerodynamic braking in before I wear, start wearing out the brakes on this aircraft. Flight path was a little better. Um, however, the landing was a little long. I floated a little longer than I wanted to. Um, so I guess I traded off a better glide path for a not-so-better landing. Let's see if I can get 
Both checklist items wrapped up on this next one. Goose Creek traffic, Cherokee Center, Mike Bravo has cleared 2 2, Goose Creek. All right, flaps, neutral, or down, altimeter on standby, and fuel pump off. Goose Creek traffic, Cherokee 7, Mike Bravo is back taxiing 2 2, Goose Creek. What I really wanted to do today was go down to a nearby airport, Monroe Executive Airport, uh, and do a couple power-off 180s, some touch-and-goes, uh, coming in real high and slipping the aircraft in, trying different flap configurations uh, on that. However, just before I started up this aircraft, one of the instructors here, uh, James, a really cool guy, he let me know that there was a disabled aircraft on the runway, so the traffic over at Monroe Executive was a little bit crazy. So I decided to just do a couple spins in the pattern here just to get some time in and, and enjoy myself here on a Saturday. RPM is at 1,000. Let me go ahead and reset. All right, flaps, one, trim. Give it a slight down trim on this one. The nose has been rising a little too much, and I'm having... Uh, put a lot of pressure on the yoke, so trim, neutral, but technically just a little down trim. Mixture full carb heat is off. Transponder altitude, flight instruments are all good. I'm staying in a pattern. Fuel tank is on left tank. How's our fuel here? Left tank, they, they're both about even and they're both good for what we need. Fuel pump on. Pressure gauge is good. Engine instruments are all in the green. Uh, altimeter still good. Door is already latched and my seatbelt is already on. So let's go ahead and uh, do a third spin here in the pattern. Goose Creek traffic, Cherokee 7 Mike Bravo is departing 2-2, uh, or taking off 2-2 and staying in the pattern, Goose Creek. Now I'm gonna go all the way to the end here. See how quickly I can get off the ground. I'm gonna do a little power, a little uh, Give it some power before I release the brakes. All right, we're right on the numbers. Let's see. All right, it's full power. RPM is good. Engine instruments are good. Let's go. Cleared our obstacles, flaps one, two, zero. Climb out speed is at 85 miles an hour. That little bit of down trim made all the difference here. I'm not really pushing pushing down on the yoke as much as I was. And I like where the nose is, so that was a good call on my part. Goose Creek traffic, Cherokee 7 Mike Bravo is turning crosswind, 2-2, two -two, Goose Creek. Going on downwind. Oh, that was a little rodeo kick. Goose Creek traffic, Cherokee 7 Mike Bravo is turning downwind for 2 2 Goose Creek. We're at pattern altitude, reduce the throttle. About 100 feet high on the pattern altitude here, so I'm going to uh, power down. Uh, at midfield as I'm uh, coming down here and approaching the threshold. Down to about 1600, we're already at 500 feet per minute descent and I've just reached pattern altitude which is exactly where I want it to be at that point, that's why I powered off a little early. Flaps one, trim two up just to start slowing the aircraft down. Vertical speed is still 500, minus 500 per minute. Wind seems to be blowing me a little bit wide on this one. Speed is good at 85, which is where I want it at this point. I'm going to try to carry a little power and uh, go out a little longer on this one. Goose Creek traffic, Cherokee 7, Mike Bravo is turning base. 2-2, two -two, Goose Creek.
One of the things I like about practicing landings is uh, I've been flying now for seven years and no two landings are the same. And you learn every time. No one's on final, we're good to turn. Goose Creek traffic, Cherokee 7 Mike Bravo is turning final for 2-2. Two -two. Goose Creek. Got a little bit of a wind on this one. All right, I am high, so I'm gonna take my full flaps, get the speed down where I want it. Let's see if she'll sink with that headwind. Speed is steady. A little bit to the right of the center line again. about six miles to the left, inbound to one runway two one, Gastonia. A little bit to the right. Come on. Little balloon, give it a little bit of power to recover, cut the power, flare. All right, a little flat. There's a nice, nice, very slight balloon recovery. Back on the yoke. And start tapping the brakes. That was three landings and three completely different experiences. Goose Creek traffic, Cherokee 7. Mike Bravo has cleared 2-2. Two -two. Goose Creek. Flaps down. Fuel pump off. Transponder on standby. Goose Creek traffic, Cherokee 7. Mike Bravo is back taxing 2-2. Uh, back taxing two -two. Goose Creek. Goose Creek traffic, Cherokee 7, Mike Bravo, has cleared 2-2, Goose Creek. Since this is the last one, I'm going to go ahead and take a sip of water. There are no bathroom breaks while you're in the pattern. So I like to minimize my water consumption until I know for sure that I'll be parking within the next 10 minutes. And I am paranoid about anything rolling off the seat in front of the rudder pedals. So if I'm flying by myself, I keep the right seat completely empty and I put all of my stuff in the back seat and water bottles. Goose Creek traffic, Cherokee 95091, six miles southeast, the amount landing 22, Goose Creek. All right, flaps, one, trim. Let's try a little more down on that one. Got enough runway and the weather's cool enough where we can get over over the obstacles. Mixture full. RPD off. Transponder set on altitude. Flight instruments are still feel good. Fuel tank. We're still on left tank and left tank still has plenty of fuel. We're only doing pattern work. Fuel pump on. Thank Goose Creek traffic. Passer 9733 Delta's back taxi in 22 Goose Creek. Uh, engine instruments are all in the green. See, doors are already latched. There's a back taxi coming, so I'm going to go ahead and get out of his way. Go up a little, a little more. Hopefully, I can get out of here before that aircraft that's six miles out comes in. Trade spots with you, seven, Mike Bravo. Sounds good, thank you. Goose Creek traffic, Cherokee seven, Mike Bravo is taking off. Uh, two two, we'll be staying in the pattern. Goose Creek. Cherokee 95091, turning downwind, 22, Goose Creek. All right, we've clear, cleared the trees, flaps one to two. I'm liking 
a little more of the down trim that I, I placed on the, uh, on the trim wheel there. Holding my speed a little steady, or more steady than it was before. Goose Creek traffic, Cherokee 7, Mike Bravo is turning crosswind. 2-2, two -two, Goose Creek. Goose Creek traffic, 091, turning base leg, 2-2, two -two, Goose Creek. I'm going to power off a little early here because I've been over, over climbing pattern altitude. Goose Creek traffic, Cherokee 7, Mike Bravo turning downwind for 2-2, two -two, Goose Creek. Yeah, I was doing a traffic, 141 Alpha Alpha, got a crossover enter in on the 40. And it seemed to have worked. I reduced the throttle about 100 feet from pattern altitude and uh, the climb sort of settled itself at pattern altitude. Flaps one, trim two spins on the wheel. There's Niner one. Just any traffic. Twin Star 906 Echo Romeo is 10 miles to the west at 3,000 feet, inbound for landing runway 21 Gastonia. Goose Creek traffic, Cherokee 7 Mike Bravo turning base 22 Goose Creek. Darlington traffic, 7 Air 95 Tango, 5 miles out, straight in 33 Darlington. Flaps two. Speed is good, downwind, or excuse me, final is clear. Let's start my turn to final. Goose Creek traffic, Cherokee 7 Mike Bravo is turning final 2-2, two -two, Goose Creek. Cowboy traffic, 141 Alpha Alpha. Goose Creek traffic, 091, clear all my Goose Creek. All right. I would say those were four imperfect landings. I guess there's never such a thing as a perfect land. But I'm pretty happy with it. I had fun today. All right. Back pressure here. Lightly applying the brakes. Let's go ahead and clear and head to the ramp. Goose Creek traffic, uh, Cherokee 7 Mike Bravo has cleared 2-2, two -two, uh, heading to the ramp, Goose Creek. Thank Goose Creek traffic, pay turn on 7 3 Delta, departing 2-2, two -two, Goose Creek. Flaps down. And now I'm going to pay attention to make sure I don't hit any other, any other aircraft here, it's a little tight. A lot of nice planes here. Transponder, stand by, fuel pump off. This is my spot right here. I'm gonna try to come in a little sideways. Add a little power while tapping the brakes to make that a little steep turn. And reduce the power to 1000. Set my brake. And my parking checklist. Uh, brakes set. Throttle is 1,000. Uh, radio uh, is off. Uh, lights are off. Transponder, I already reset that. Okay, lights off. Mixture, cut off. Key, off. Remove the key. I like to put it on the seat. Master switch, off. Uh, go ahead and do that once I'm finished talking, because otherwise it'll cut off the audio. Uh, brakes release. 
And the rest is all logbook information, except for closing the vents, which I never had open because it's cold outside. All right, so I'm going to turn the master switch off here. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed watching me fly my four turns in the pattern. Uh, I, ha I had fun doing it. Um, like I said, there were four imperfect landings, but I don't think there's ever such a thing as a perfect landing. So I'll, I'll take what I got, uh, and I had a lot of fun doing it. Take care. I hope you enjoyed the video.